and Eastbourne just we had a really hard night everybody and Eastbourne was just a better team on the night and uh, tonight we're without Danny and uh, hopefully we can we can make a win we, we definitely need it but it's going to be really hard for us. How crucial is it for you guys to have a win here tonight you know to try and get yourself out of that relegation zone? Yeah well especially against Pooley at the top of the league and uh, they've got a good team so um, it's always nice to beat all the good teams and when we're bottom so um, um, yeah, we need some points to get get away from the from the relegation, and um, we try every meeting, and uh, we try the best, and we can't do anything more. Thanks, Kenneth. Cheers. All the best tonight. And Brianna, I guess on the other side, 13 matches uh, without losing, top of the league, and you've got the best away record in the league. So you must be pretty confident coming here tonight. Yeah, but uh, you know, when you say that, you know, now it's just get difficult to keep it. But uh, now, you know, like we said, we are on, we are on a good run now, and uh, you know, the pressure is not on for me, the Chris. Moment. Great, great ride out there for you, but. The problem seems that nobody else is doing the work apart from yourself and Darcy. Yeah, it's only early days, so you know they're all getting used to the track. I think Dennis never been here, and Rennett's been here about five, six years ago. So I think uh, once we get the first one out of the way, we should start getting a few points. Talk us through that first corner because uh, we know there's no love lost between yourself and uh, Troy Bachelor, so you wanted to make sure you got one up against it. Uh, you fellow countryman. <laughs> he jumped the start in the first one. And I was like, no, nah, I got to go again. But uh, he made another good start. But four such a long way to come from, and. Uh, I thought as long as I'm there with him, I should be right, and yeah, it worked out perfect for me. Darcy made the gate on the previous one, and he's out in the next one. You two were just chatting just before the camera came to us. Uh, what were you telling him about the track? Uh, just making a bit of dirt, and you just got to like ride off the fence into the corners and just keep going. Don't turn, just straight, and make a start. He reckons he's not a trapper, but he made it a four, so he goes all right. Sounds easy enough, doesn't it? Oh, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Thank you. I hope so. Well, the coin toss is always important, but never more so than this evening. Let's join Brando with Star the as well of Jordan Palin. Sam Malenko joins with us, us as well as Calvin Tate and ran down from that commentary box. Calvin, what a night of Speedway. Yeah, Another great night. Yeah. I, I, the result's there. I think uh, no, no excuses. I, two excuses. Are you hurt at all? I think not I. I think Steve Johnson, eh? Okay, thanks very much. <laughs> Back to you, Calvin and Jonathan. Well, from one man, Barry Briggs, of course, who knows all about Speedway. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Any, any top tips for these guys? No, Mark's got it all sussed. I mean, so there's not a lot of dirt to pass on tonight, and Mark was using every bit of track and a little bit of grip, and he would have been gone, but it wasn't there. And one and three was a pretty good gate choice by Martin Dugard early on, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, Dugard was... When he's at the front, he can run whatever he wants. But this is the boy from the behind, for the public like to see. Yes, we know all about Mark and he's behind and all that kind of stuff. Now, Barry, the reason why you're here tonight, is something special going on the 13th of September? Yeah, we're running a Golden Greats meeting here, and um, I've thrown down the gauntlet that I can beat Mark. Which, <laughs> which sounds really... Yeah, see, you think it's funny as well. Is that right? Is that, so so you, you, you two guys are going to have a race, are you? Yeah, I'm just waiting for the funny little white man in the coach to come and take the old boy away. Oh, <laughs> oh you're hearing it all here first. So, OK, who else is going to be riding then? Oh, uh, we've got... Um, Peter Collins, the world champion, obviously. I don't know who Peter you. Collins is. Super Simo, um, got Nordin, who's second in the world final of Swede. We got, um, God, help me out, Mark. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we got Michael Lee. Well, Swindon really would like to finish with the top three in the British League, and their seven successive wins recently looked as if they were going to do just that, but unfortunately, recently, they lost out to Cradley Heath, so they'd be trying even just more today. Cool. It's the headquarters to the RNLI. It also lies on one of Britain's largest natural harbours, and it's also the home of the Pool Pirates. Very much. I'll grab Chris first. Chris, it's been two weeks, just over, since you guys have had a home meeting here, but you have had four wins on the trot, so you must be for sure. I think he's a little bit nervous, but uh, <laughs> <Is he>? yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's good to have him back in the team. He's been going pretty well everywhere, and we haven't really had so many meetings in England so far, but uh, yeah, he's, got, he's going alright. Feeling the pressure a little? I think he is. <laughs> Best of luck. No Thanks a lot. Chris, right, Craig, I'll talk to you now. It's been a difficult start for Melvy, hasn't it? So far you've only had five meetings, but you have had two away wins and you know that this is a track that you can score well on. 